so if we if we kind of pull this pull this up in the middle here we look at some of the functions of selenium so now you kind of understand some of the diseases and the symptoms associated with selenium deficiency but here are some of your functions one of the primary functions is selenium regenerates or recycles helps to recycle vitamin c and vitamin e but also glutathione now many of you have heard of glutathione some of you probably even take supplemental glutathione this is what your liver uses to detoxify a number of the different toxic compounds that you come into exposure with every day so your liver needs this glutathione to properly keep your body um, not toxin free but un underburdened right not overwhelmed by toxins and so selenium is, is like the imagine you know you have your cell phone and when the battery goes dead you have to plug it into the charger right well selenium is like the charger for the cell phone it's like the charger for glutathione it charges it back up we also know that it's a powerful antioxidant so as i was mentioning earlier with fertility it's function as an antioxidant why is that important every one of your cells if this is a cell you've got the wall of the cell on the outside right and then you've got the nuclear wall and you've got the little mitochondria within the cell and those have a wall we'll call that a mitochondrial wall and then you've got other organelles within the cell that serve different functions and they all have little cell walls or little little or mitochondria or little um, organelle walls around them and so if we look at this wall up close if we kind of you know, like zoom in if you will it's what's known as a phospholipid bilayer now why is that important it's important because walls are barriers and so how can this cell stay viable without toxins leaking in and with without nutrients and things leaking out right it's this cell wall right it keeps things where they're supposed to be and so if we look at the cell wall um, if we have selenium deficiency this cell wall will rupture easier and that cell will break open but again it's not just the cell wall it's the it's the nuclear wall or the nuclear uh the wall that surrounds the 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 dna right so it exposes the dna to potential damage it exposes the mitochondria to damage it exposes your other organelles like your golgi apparatus protein making machinery inside your cell wall it damages those membranes again these membranes very very critical um, the outside is a water the inside is a fat and this is you know if you've ever poured uh, if you've ever poured oil and water into the same glass like in science class what you got was you got a separation the water and the oils naturally separated well this is your cell wall that oil is like a natural barrier right so that things don't penetrate in and, and things are contained within and it's very important because if this barrier breaks and again selenium deficiency makes this barrier break a lot easier that's its function as an antioxidant then what happens is your cells become less viable they die sooner they rupture easier they don't survive the way that they should this is why selenium is linked to so many different types of problems and symptoms and diseases uh, and not just a few things so very very important to understand the power of selenium as an antioxidant we also know selenium regulates immune secretions so there are a number of different chemicals that your immune system releases in an effort to kill viruses and bacteria and other microorganisms that don't belong selenium helps that process there's actually a lot of the research from selenium actually came from hiv to aids we know that for example people that have hiv that progress to aids one of the one of the biggest reasons why this can happen is nutritional deficiency and selenium being primarily one of those nutrient deficiencies that can drive that factor people that have um, that have low selenium with hiv have lower cd4 cell counts which is a very important type of immune cell and so they progress to aids much more readily because selenium's role in producing immune cells but also regulating the chemicals that they secrete we know that selenium regulates testosterone production so in, in men one of the one of the organs that stores or concentrates the most selenium 
are the gonads, right? And that's because we've got to make testosterone and selenium is required for that process to be able to do it. So for a lot of men where we'll see, for example, benign prostatic hypertrophy, we'll see the prostate enlarge, we'll see the man not be able to gain muscle, we'll see they're, they're losing their muscle mass, they might be working out and they still can't build muscle because their testosterone is low and the doctor wants to give testosterone without any thought as to whether or not selenium deficiency is contributing to that low testosterone. Remember, testo your body should be able to make testosterone. And this goes for you too, ladies, because you make testosterone as well. And testosterone is important for your hair growth and your health of your skin and your libido, right? And low selenium creates low testosterone production. So it's not something you want to get into a situation with. So again, recycles vitamin C, E, and glutathione. It acts as a very potent antioxidant to protect the cell membrane walls. It regulates thyroid hormone. We're going to dive into that in a minute, I promise. It regulates testosterone production and it regulates immune function. So a lot of critical functions for selenium. Now, how can we get more selenium in the diet? Probably the best way to do this is with a Brazil nut. Brazil nuts tend to be very, very rich in selenium. Your second best choice is seafood. You'll notice shrimp, sardines, salmon, and cod all at the top of this list. Very, very rich in selenium. And then we have a variety of other high selenium foods down here as well, Swiss chard, mushrooms, asparagus, turkey, chicken, beef, eggs, sunflower seeds, and seaweed, all really high quality and, and great dietary sources. And, and I'll say gluten-free and grain-free sources of selenium because some of the grains contain selenium. But if you follow me for any length of time, you know why those are things that I don't tend to recommend. Hey, don't forget to check out the rest of the series right here. Make sure you hit subscribe below. And as always, thanks for tuning in.